Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with your morning market stir for Monday, July the 14th. Markets backed off last week, negative week without new highs for the five day session. 1962 and a half, up four and a half was a close yesterday in the S&P on Friday. The S&P lost 0.9% on the week. The Dow futures added 39, 16,881. That was a loss of three quarters of a percent on the week as well. The Nasdaq held up a little bit better, rallied on Friday up 24, 38.97. It uh, was up 0.6% on Friday to be the best performer of the week. The dollar, the currencies were quiet, 80.25 close on the dollar, Euro 136.12 ended up being unchanged on the weekly basis. Bond market 137.12, we saw crude oil pull back 10075, so crude oil was down $3.25 on the week, so 105 up above, 100 down below are numbers to keep an eye on. And gold held strong, it was down two on Friday, 1337, but it did gain $17 on the week after the holiday week before. So after the action last week, where do things stand here on this Monday morning? Well, right now we're positive again. We're up six and a half points, 1969 in the E-mini S&P. We're up 54 in the Dow Futures, 16,935. So we're building on, uh, on the action from Friday, looking like we may make another attempt on those all-time highs here sometime soon. Looking at the NASDAQ, up 17 and a half, pressing those highs at 39.15. We've got the dollar index down four, the euro currency up 14, maintaining above 136. 136.26 is where it stands right now. Bonds going nowhere, unchanged at 137.12. The yield on the 30 year right now is at 3.34%. The highly watched 10 year note is at 2.52%, so just holding above that 2.5% level. Crude oil continuing to drift lower, down 40 at 10045. And gold, Taking on the chin a little bit, giving back the gains from last week, down $15 at $13.22, but still solidly above the $1,300 level. So to wrap up the current action with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're positive up 6.5 in the E-mini S&P, up 54 in the Dow futures. I will see you early Tuesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.